We, we stand here today uh, with the closed key food supermarket behind us uh, to highlight the stark choice facing the people of Newark in this election. The people of Newark have two fundamentally different paths ahead of them. The people of Newark can decide to go back 50 years or to go forward 50 years. Campaigns are about contrast, and the contrast between me and my opponent, Councilman Raz Baraka, could not be more stark. On the key issues facing our city, I have a proven track record of results in bringing people together to solve our biggest challenges. Councilman Baraka, on the other hand, has a failed record in which things have gotten dramatically worse in the South Ward under his leadership. He has been active in playing the blame game and in dividing our community, but he has absolutely failed in bringing safety, jobs, and economic development to the South Ward. So this election is about contrast. I have a proven record in crime reduction. As counsel to the Attorney General, the third most senior official in the Attorney General's office, I supervised programs that reduced violent crime for three years in a row, doubled the graduation rate for juvenile offenders, and reduced rearrest rate for ex-offenders as well. We did this by investing in proven prevention enforcement and reentry programs. On the other hand, Councilman Baraka's record on crime is one of absolute failure. Murders are up 70 percent, 70 percent in the South Ward under his watch. That is a staggering number. When Councilman Baraka himself ran against Councilman James in 2010, he said the primary issue in that race was the number of murders in the South Ward. And he said Councilman James did not deserve re-election re given the levels of murders in the South Ward. But murders up 70 percent on the Councilman Baraka's watch. So by his own standard, he doesn't even deserve to be re-elected as councilman, let alone to be promoted as mayor. He did nothing as well to stop the layoff of 170 cops, cops that our city needs at this very important time. He refused to cut the fat on his own patronage payroll or his taxpayer-funded car or the two taxpayer-funded jobs he juggled while the South Ward became a war zone. Nor did he do anything to stop pay raises to council members after taxes were raised and cops were laid off. In fact, he didn't even bother to show up at three or four budget votes when the council was making critical decisions about the city's future. The contrast, again, could not be more stark. My crime plan focuses on proven investments in prevention, enforcement, and reentry that I have personally supervised and that have produced results. Council Morocco, on the other hand, has a failed record where murder has reached historically high levels under his watch, and his approach to crime fighting is based on apologizing for and compromising with violent criminals and gang lords who have murdered Norkers. There's also a stark contrast in terms of jobs and economic development. Last year, Councilman Baraka stood here and beamed that the key foods behind me was a signature accomplishment of his, that it would provide needed health benefits and food services to, to the residents of the South Ward. It also would put people to work. Yet, not even a year later, this uh, uh, supermarket stands closed and shuttered, a glaring example of the wholesale lack of jobs and economic development in the South Ward under Councilman Baraka's watch, and a glaring example, moreover, of Councilman Baraka's failed leadership. My approach to jobs and economic development is based on my track record and my proven experience. It's based on building bridges and partnerships between Newark and our business and investment stakeholders. The city will grow only by building bridges that grow investment and development, but also by ensuring at the same time that Norkers and Nork-based businesses grow as this new economic activity comes to our community. Throughout my career, I've partnered with the business and investment community to put Norkers to work, to help Norkers buy homes, and to help Norkers escape foreclosure. In contrast, Councilman Baraka has for decades berated the investment and business community. He has railed for decades against anyone who does not live in Nork. He has railed for decades against investors who aren't rooted already in the city of Nork. He is not a bridge builder, he is a bridge burner. His history and record will scare away investment, which will mean that Newark can expect more deficits, more cop layoffs, higher taxes, less code enforcement, and fewer services. In other words, the exact record we've seen under Councilman Baraka's watch here in the South Ward. The rest of the city can expect this record, this record of joblessness and lack of development that we've seen in the South Ward over the last few years. Baraka's failed approach to development will leave Newark on the path to becoming the next Detroit. So the people have a choice to make a proven track record of results, of bringing people together across diverse communities to solve problems, or more negative attacks, rallies, false promises, and failed leadership. I want to take Nork in a new direction. Raz Baraka wants to take us many decades backwards. We just can't afford Baraka's radical agenda and careless disregard for public safety and economic development. It's time to elect the only crime fighter and the only proven executive in the race for mayor and put the safety and growth of our city first.